winter could be over by the time your MPP takes a seat in the chamber at the Queen's Park. But the opposition parties aren't wasting any time at all, and by all appearances, they're already on the campaign trail. So, Alan Carter, Queen's Park, here we go again. <laughs> That's right, Leslie, and sources with inside the Liberal government suggesting that it could be six months before the House is reconvened. That decision is up to the future Liberal leader, but already opposition parties are staking out ground and hammering away on Premier McGuinty for proroguing the House. The big concern is this can drag on for months and months and months and months. I mean, uh, let's face it, uh, Ontario's not in great shape. There are lots of problems that we're facing as a province. This is no time uh, for the government to simply walk away. I guess he's now put that in the hands of whoever his successor is going to be. I don't know, you know, which horse is going to line up the gate for the Liberal leadership race. It'll be, I guess, the next big Liberal spender to follow the current big Liberal spender. So not only does all legislation that's on the table die with the House being prorogued, so too does that contempt motion against the Minister of Energy. And if the opposition parties want to follow up on it, they have to reintroduce it in the House and argue its merits before the Speaker of the House one more time. Leslie? All right. Queen's Park correspondent, Alan Carter. Thank you, sir.